mail time. I have to use some hotel kitchenware to make this work. Two camera batteries and a 64 gigabyte SD card. What could that mean? Canon PowerShot S120. I hope this is in the frame. Ooh. Camera itself. Let's ask ourselves, how charged is this battery? Okay. Selfie stick test. So, me and Wookie are gonna go to Salt Lake City. First, I have to go knock on his door. So, uh, I woke up at noon today thinking uh, that uh, my job was getting shifted to the night shift, and now it looks like that's not happening, so I have it all screwed up, sleep schedule. In other news, it's Sunday, Luke and I wanted to go out and get lunch before we start work today, and uh, it turns out that in Utah everything is closed, or almost everything is closed on Sundays. We're having a real hard time finding something to eat. There's this place we really like called Zupas that we've never seen outside of the Salt Lake City area. But it's, uh, but it's closed. Uh, but we can't go to Panda Express. I've just discovered the greatest thing ever. Where to go? Porchata Rockstar. Here's today's I should explain. Uh, what is the National Guard? What am I doing here? So I guess I should start with the army is broken up into three parts. The army is over a million people large. There's the active duty. Uh, these people go in every day as professional soldiers, and they work for the federal government. They make about 46% of the entire uh, army. That's 490,000 people. Then there's the reserves. Most of them go in part-time, usually one week in a month and then two weeks every summer. They make up about 21% of the army and have 205,000 people. And then there's the National Guard. They're a little bit different. 
they, like the reserves, they go in usually once a month and then two weeks every summer, but they fall underneath the state governments and the federal governments. Now, there's 350,000 people in the National Guard. That makes up one-third of the army. There's a lot of people who are in the National Guard who do go in every day. Most of the people on this trip with me, except for a few, are everyday professional soldiers. Now, the National Guard gets a lot of flack. Uh, often seen as kind of amateur or lesser weekend warriors, not quite as good as the active duty. But at least in terms of my unit and in Army aviation, that's just not the case. The standard for an active duty Army aviation unit is here. The standard for a National Guard Army aviation unit is here. Exactly the same. Aviation isn't one of those things you can just have to do. You have to do it right 100% of the time. A testament to the quality of Iowa Army National Guard's aviation is the fact that the people out here we're training with could have called anywhere. They're a pretty high speed group and they could have called any aviation unit in the country. But when they needed somebody to come out and help train, they didn't call a special forces unit, they didn't call active duty, they called the Iowa National Guard. Before I joined I didn't really know what to expect, I didn't know if the National Guard would be any good. But now that I'm in, I'm really proud of my unit and I couldn't be happier. Excuse me, can you direct me to the sushi department? So it's an Oreo that's flavored like chocolate. Do you remember how many Oreos I ate in Virginia? What? Do you remember my Oreo? Dish? I do. You're the only source of sham I had. I would just come to your room and get Oreos. <laughs> I can't, I can't eat them anymore. It's slow to start and then not stop. I eat them plenty because they're vegan and Taylor has them. Yeah. And if there's any, like, food that I'll eat at my house, I'll eat it. No matter who's, like, I'll just ask Taylor for it. You can never be boring. Oh, yeah? That's right. That's a challenge. It's either a challenge or sarcasm. You have to figure that out. They always talk about in the future how they'll just have like RFID on all the items yeah. and so you just like walk out, you just walk out of the store with your cart mm -hmm. and then it just like scans you, scans your card and scans all your items. Yeah. That'd be convenient. Yeah. I'd also yeah. spend a lot more money. Yeah. Because it's just like you have like a, a, a giant pantry and you can just take whatever you want. <laughs> but hey, also in the future we'll just live in vats of goo that'll stimulate our brains with orgasm juice. <laughs> and human life will be over. Alright, YouTubers. Explain to me what this place is. It's zooming slowly. Zurchers. Zurchers. The only thing Wookiee and I can come up with is some kind of elaborate Jade Helm plot. Can be seen in the car? Uh, say again? Would you like to eat that in the car or we could bag it up to go? Uh, to go, please. 1526, please, at the first window. Thank no. you. Eat okay, thanks. Okay. Options for eating in the car? Never heard of such a thing. What if we just like, yeah, we want to eat in the car and then we steal all their trays? <laughs> so the Cubs are in the middle of a no hitter. It's the top of the ninth. Uh, they're the away team. My dad is freaking out. A no hitter thrown by Jake Arietta. Oh my Woo! God! Cubs win, Utah. Cubs win. There's nobody. To, there's nobody to tell out here. Go Cubs! Go, go Cubs! Go. Hey Chicago, what do you say? This video's out of focus.